That's filled by Ball and Rue. Up of the forward spot, it's Hayward and Bridges. And it's Plumley in at the center. And for the Wizards. In the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Caldwell Pope. And it's Gafford in at the five down low. And Greg, with over a decade you had in the NBA, is there an opening night that you remember most? Man, that very first time putting we go. on that Knicks jersey. The game was in Orlando. I played 28 minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then. And I'll never forget that night. Bridges shot. Good. Well, I love how quick Bridges makes decisions, including when he should look to shoot as soon as he catches it. Dinwiddie dishes to Beal. For the screen on Rogier. Ball kicks to Rogier. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Dinwiddie against Ball. Pass to Beal. Wizards passing it around. Fires the three. The shot misses. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. Rozier finds Ball. Here is Plumley. Left side, Ball. Back to Plumley. Just five to shoot. Bridges inside the three-point line. Out to Hayward. And it's the Hornets, another three. Hayward's a weapon. I mean, his impact isn't limited to, to any one area of the floor, inside or beyond the arc. Passes to Gafford. Screen by Gafford. Caldwell Pope outside. High arcing shot, and it's good on the way in. And the floater from Caldwell Pope is unblockable. I mean, some of the shots this guy has are just impossible to defend. Looking at the last game for Charlotte, it was a loss to Atlanta. Beal against Rogier. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And every year, Terry Rozier seems to get better. Specifically great, becoming a more efficient and lethal scorer. I mean, he's improving his percentages over the years, especially his three-point shooting. When he came into the league, was not a threat from deep. Now, you have got to honor that outside shot. That's good from Rozier. Oh, the fearlessness by Rozier. That's what helps him earn the trip to the strike. Caldwell Pope kicks to Gafford. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. That's his first foul. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. That's foul number two for him. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Ball. Dinwiddie against Rogier. And the wide open shot from Abdia. Sinks the three pointer. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Yeah, it's all about establishing the rhythm. I mean, you start to see it fall, you, you begin to believe. And here is Rogier. After Avdia made the last three pointer. Hayward, left side. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. And it's sent back by Plumley, And they're able to recover. Shot's good by Gafford. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Pass to Rozier. Hayward with a screen for Rozier. And that's on a bounce. Charlotte will retain possession.
First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. And the ability of Caldwell Pope to get in the shooter's head. Love having a guy like him who puts a lot of energy into the defense. Offensive rebound, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And, and that's why you never stop working in the paint at either end of the floor. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That one misses for Kuzma. And Kyle Kuzma now in year one of his three-year, $40 million extension. And he's improving. Stronger, better on the boards, finding ways to do more than put the ball in the hole. Lock at six. Ogier the pass to Plumley, And the shot is long. Washington's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Caldwell Pope finds Gafford. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Gafford. Oh! Oh, oh that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Caldwell Pope against Rogier. Oubre for three. And the three ball is good. Well, I'm impressed with Rogier's growth as a distributor. He's capable of making some nice passes. Dinwiddie kicks to Kuzma. Effort is screen on Bridges. Here's Kuzma. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. For Charlotte, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Plumlee sets the pick for Bridges. No good on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Back to Dinwiddie. The pass to Kuzma. Second shot opportunity. Bridges with the steal. Rozier looking around. Pulls up. They get it back. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, this is what Bridges is off the ball awareness. Uh, I mean, rebounds and second chance buckets. Dinwiddie against Rogier. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. And so it's Charlotte with it after the basket by Washington. Oubre passes to Rogier. And here is Bridges. He has five. Tips it up. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead change. It's six already. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Kuzma. With the drive. And Kuzma slams it in. Now just a ferocious competitor. I like seeing Kuzma go right at the defense like this. Such assertiveness. The Hornets trail. Oubre outside. Bridges for three. Dinwiddie with the rebound. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Pass to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope on the wing. And it's Mason Plumley with the foul. That is his first foul of the game.
and a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Harrell, he's checked in for Daniel Gafford. Kisper comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Caldwell Pope. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. From the inbound, and Holiday with the basket on the assist by Abdiya. And the Wizards lead by three. The inbound play works to perfection. you got to love to get those quick hitters. Smith with a screen on Holiday. Poke loose. Martin kicks to McDaniels. Kick by Bridges. Just five on the clock. Shoots from the high post. The rebound by Holiday. Just doing the job on the backboard. Out to the right wing. Here's Neto, covered by Smith. The kick out to Holiday. Harrell setting the pick for Holiday. With this pause in the action, let's show you the teams that have scored the most points in the league last season. In the third position, the Wizards. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. That's good from Holiday. Both free throws good from Holiday. Here's Smith. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Here's Smith. Passes it to Oubre. Bridges sets the screen for Oubre. And Corey Kispert is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Smith surveying the D. Bridges outside. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. Now, here's Kispert. Not a lot of room. Offensive rebound. Now, Avdia. Five to shoot. Another shot. A shot by Holiday. No good. Oh, their movement is good, and they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumpers. And the Wizards with possession. They're on a 19-7 run. Down low. It's tipped. Here's Avdia. Kept alive. Here's Harold, and Harold slams it in. Harold doesn't even take any plays off. His high level of activity is just terrific. Here's Smith. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Bridges. Now, here's Oubre. Defense is right there. Bridges sets the screen for Martin. To the paint. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Oh, incredible verticality from Bridges. I mean, he takes off over the defense and just buries the dunk. On the wing, Holiday. Defended by Bridges. Picked by Harrell. With a floater, Neto can't get it to go. Hornets trail by five. And thinking about the energy that Oubre plays with, always, Chris, very active on the floor. 
Yeah, and, and that's something that is always out there for Uber. Even if the shot is off, he's still a spark plug for this team. Something that endears you to your teammates. And it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. And it's Kispert in the corner. Here's Harrell. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Touch and focus from Harrell. I mean, superb at maintaining control through physical defense. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far, working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. And also, how about the willingness to attack the basket and challenge the defense here tonight? That's good from Harrell. And coming up, Montrez Harrell said he patterned his game after the all-star Zach Randolph. Zebo was undersized on paper but was strong as an ox and found the angles to finish. A nice shot by McDaniels. Well, this is what Smith does best, keeping his eyes moving to set up the open man. Neto surveying the floor. Holiday, the pass to Neto. Back to Holiday. Feeds it to Hero. He kicks it to Holiday. Just three to shoot. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And like the great Zebo, Montrez Harrell might be undersized on paper, but Craig, that 7-4 wingspan levels the playing court. Not to mention his leaping ability. Harrell's more of a dunker, quite honestly, but he also displays that soft touch inside. Smith, no luck. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Kispert, the pass to Neto. He dishes it to Avdia. Shoots the three. Bridges with the board. Hornets trail by seven. Outside, Martin. 24 seconds left in the first. That one goes in. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Now, here's Kispert. No points in the game yet for him. Oh, and the buzzer Peters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Now that's the way you want to end the quarter with the momentum on your side. And that does it for the first quarter. Wizards lead by seven. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And the step back is shot that's become a staple for the league's top scorers. Case in point, Gordon Hayward among that group, and he does it so well. Uh, I really like the step back move, being at 6'8". Uh, I feel like I can use a little bit of my quickness to get an advantage and then step back and tall enough to shoot over some guys. Um, so that's one of my moves. One of many moves, Greg, but that probably is his signature move now. Moves and counter moves. Hayward has a lot in his bag to keep defenders off balance. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. In that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Old school approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. On the floor for Charlotte. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. McDaniels is out there with Hugh. And it's Martin in at the three slot. Avia gets the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Rozier up top. Last game he had 10 points. Plumley is checked in for the Hornets.
Hayward against Kuzma. Hayward dishes to Plumlee. Five on the clock. Ball no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Dinwiddie finds Beal. Perilous screen on Rozier. Beal the pass to Avdia. Wizards need to get a shot off here. And they pick up two. Harrell's got the lead up to 13 now for Washington. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Ball surveying the defense. The pass to Rozier. No good on the three. Washington leading now by 13. Pass to Harrell. Rozier against Beal. Shot from 12. Harrell. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Wizards lead by 15. I look in every moment in that possession. Harold does a great job of pursuing the basketball and finishing the play. Inside, and it's slammed in by Plumley. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Washington Wizards. Looking ahead to their next game playing at New Orleans. They'll match up against the Pelicans. That sets in motion a four-game road trip for them. Outside, ball. Hits it from three-point range. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? A one-on-one -on -one guy or, or a constant movement type of player? I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job you can have defensively. Now, what a baller this guy is. I love watching Bill come right back with the payback trip. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, and that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. And that'll be his third foul so far. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the break. Or now, he might have to sit out until halftime. Hayward dishes the ball. Outside, Mark passes it to Rozier. Kicks the ball. Shot clock at five. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Hayward against Kuzma. Six to shoot. Hayward passes to Martin. And there's the whistle. That goes on Denny Avdia. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, what a terrible foul there. The shot clock winding down, and he ends up bailing out the offense with a silly foul. Dinwiddie against Ball. Just five to shoot. Plumley with a screen on Dinwiddie. Forceful defense from Harold. Not letting the shooter escape his coverage. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Yes, that goes in. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. So it's the Hornets now. 15-point game. Ball against Dinwiddie. Rozier kicks to Martin. Plumley sets the pick for Martin. This is to Plumley. Outside for Martin. Pulls it from the elbow. Not enough on that one as it misses. Wizards leading by 15. Has to be it. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. That's his third foul of the game.
And the Wizards with possession. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. And Beal kicks to Dinwiddie. Shot clock at six. Here's Avgia. Omley with the block. Dinwiddie against Ball. Ball is screen on Beal. Back to Ball. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Ball's got a pair of triples in the second now for Charlotte. Dinwiddie against Ball. Dinwiddie passes to Kuzma. Back to Dinwiddie. Harrell a screen on Ball. Here's Dinwiddie. And that one hits back iron. Hornets trail by 12. There's the pass to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Beal against Rogier. Harrell setting the pick for Dinwiddie. A floater. Out to Kuzma. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. That is his first foul of the game. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Montrez Harrell. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Oubre's checked in. Charlotte on D. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Here's Gafford. Avdia with it. And the shot goes in. Avdia's got seven points in the game. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Hornets trail by 12. Plumley with a screen on Dinwiddie. Ball. Score of the basket is third after five shots. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. The Wizards have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. And with LaMelo Ball, this team struck gold. Uh, exactly what the Hornets needed. Great production and a face of the franchise type of talent. Now here's Kuzma. He's got six. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. That'll be his second foul of the game. Washington making some changes. Kisper comes in for Avdia. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. The Hornets also with a sub. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Rogier. To the middle, stolen by Ball. He kicks to Oubre. Bridges sets the screen for Oubre. And there's the drive. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. Wizards making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. And a switcher also for Charlotte is Smith. He's checked in for Ball. Goes up off the inbound. And the rejection by Gafford. And Holiday has it in the corner. Pass to Neto. Six on the shot clock. Kispert wide open. He fires. Offline with his three. Last game for the Charlotte Hornets. It was a loss to the Hawks in Atlanta. Passes to Bridges. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Bridges has got it back down to single digits for the Hornets. Washington's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Holiday looking over the floor. A three ball. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. The Wizards have been successful on three of their four free-throw attempts up to this point. Yeah, and, and 
fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. That's good from Kisper. And the Hornets making a change here. McDaniels checked in. And he's good on the second. And he nails the third. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Pass to Bridges. Hayward left side. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Kispert. You know, Chris, thinking about Gordon Hayward, that devastating leg injury he suffered in 2017 comes to mind. But we got to credit him for fighting his way back and still being an impactful player. Yeah, that injury could have ended his career, but Hayward is a warrior. I mean, someone that doesn't quit, and because of his strong mentality, he continues to impress. Free throw drops for Hayward. And it's hard to believe that Gordon Hayward has been playing for over a decade in the NBA. Now a seasoned vet firmly in the second half of his career. So he gets them both. And Hayward has had a bit of a career renaissance lately, looking more and more like his old self. And Kevin, it's just great to see him playing at this level again. I think it's testament to how much he loves the game of basketball, as well as how badly this guy wants a chance to win a championship. Now here's Kuzma. He has six. Oh, nice defense from Bridges. When he hustles like this, he's capable of swatting shots. Hayward can hit. Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. And it's Kispert in the corner. Back to Neto. The dish to Kispert. Pulls it from 20. And the jumper is on the mark. Kispert's got five points now in the quarter. Hornets trail by 10. Smith the pass to Hayward. Smith sets the pick for Hayward. Bridges a screen on Gafford. Just four to shoot. And Hayward gets it to go. They are just killing him on the interior. Wizards leading by eight. Here's Neto. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. On the pass to Kispert. And he's good on the three ball. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Charlotte's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second. And been successful three times. Smith the pass to McDaniels. Pick by Bridges. Now here's McDaniel. Guarded by Kuzma. For three, Bridges. And it's the Hornets, another three. 
That's number two for him from long range in the quarter. His third overall. And the Wizards with possession. They're leading by eight. Here's Neto, covered by Smith. Neto kicks to Kispert. From outside the arc, rebound by Smith. Hornets trail by eight. Switch, 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 switch. To the inside, here's Bridges. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. What a valiant effort from Bridges that time. I mean, as he flashes the ability to power through contact. And what I like about Miles Bridges, such a versatile player, scores it, rebounds and passes, and also gets after it defensively. Well, I love his energy, too. It's clear. His work ethic is strong. I mean, he just wants to keep improving over time. And I'd say that he's well on his way. And it's exciting watching Bridges continue to grow. This guy has a hunger to keep getting better. Neto, the pass to Gaffer. He dishes it to Kispert. Gafford sets the pick for Kispert. Off the left rim and out. That's one he knows he should have drained. Pass the ball. And here is Bridges. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Count the basket. 18 points for Miles Bridges. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Afford kicks to Kispert. Pass to Neto. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. It's the Wizards. Up by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, with James Borrego. Coach, too many easy buckets for them. Defensively, where do you dig in? You got to stop penetration. That's the focus right now. They're getting to the paint. Just way too many points in the paint. Uh, too many breakdowns all over the board defensively. Yeah, that has to tighten up, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Washington Wizards. It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. All right, now moving on to highlight two of the standout performers so far in the first half. Great fight we're seeing from both these guys. Each one trying to pull his team across the finish line. You know they love this kind of a challenge. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew.
And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. What can you say, guys? Miles Bridges, an impressive effort here today. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him, and he kept delivering. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. In the backcourt, it's Dinwiddie and Beal. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Caldwell Pope in it, the small forward. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. He's one of the top guys when it comes to those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Kuzma, he loves getting those shots off in a split second. Hornets trail by eight. Pass to Rozier. To the paint. Deflects the pass. Wombley finds Hayward. Bridges inside. He's against Kuzma. Bridges misses. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. Now here's Dinwiddie. Gafford passes to Beal. Releases. The shot. No good. And the Hornets now going the other way. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Rozier kicks to Hayward. Jacks up a three. The Hornets keeping it alive. The new 14. The basket counts and one. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. The Hornets shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Lamelo ball. He's checked in for Ubre. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Dinwiddie against Ball. For the screen on Rogier. Beal the pass to Caldwell Pope. Just five to shoot. Dinwiddie kicks to Beal. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got five assists in the game. Bill is a volume three-point shooter. The defense better get on him. He'll do some real damage. Now, here's Ball. He's got eight. Knocks down the three ball. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Here's Dinwiddie. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Oh, yeah, difficult finish, but if you expected him to back down, better think again. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Wizards. One shot. One shot. And Dinwiddie with some big shoes to fill. Steps into the vacancy. Westbrook left with the Wizards. Washington targeted Dinwiddie early in free agency. Now, here's Ball. He's got 11 to the middle. Bridges inside. Dinwiddie covering. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Javier's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. They get a hand on it. Four on the clock. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Caldwell Pope. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Martin's checked in for Gordon Hayward. Oh. 
Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. He gets that one. Ball's got 13. Well, this is what height in the backcourt gives you. Ball, he can get almost anything he wants in there. Harrell, a screen on Rozier. Beal, the pass to Harrell. Umley with the steal. Right side, Martin. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Caldwell Pope. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. It's his first trip to the line. Good from Martin. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. There's a good screen. Down low, and Harrell shoots it in. Any given night, Harrell can go off. I mean, it's just about him getting to his sponsor, Cashin. And so here's Charlotte. And here is Ball. 13 points in the game. Bridges outside. Charlotte no good that time either. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And there's the pass to Martin. Pass to Rogier. Kicks it the ball. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. And Washington making a change here. Kispert's checked in. In the corner, it's Martin. Bridges outside. Shot clock at five. Ball from long range. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. The Hornets have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. And he hits the first of three. You know, the one concern with LaMelo before the draft, Chris, how would he shoot the ball? But he's had no problems with that. Well, the form isn't the most textbook, or we can all see that. But the results, they're there. Plain and simple. Already a capable outside threat. It should only improve. Raul Meadows checked in for Dinwiddie. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And he makes all three. He's just a one-of-a-kind player. I mean, the mellow ball has a unique game and limitless potential. Passes it to Kispert. Back to Beal. Ball's knocked loose. At the elbow, Martin. And that one goes long. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Inside, Harold. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Carroll's got four points this quarter. It's no wonder why they're in front when you take into consideration that he's been perfect from the field so far. Plumlee sets the pick for ball. Takes it inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. We all know, Chris, it's an honor to make the All-Star game, but for Bradley Beal, the 2021 game, I think was extra special. Yeah, well, Brad got the start for Team Durant and his close friends with Jason Tatum, but... Bill started mentoring Jason from the young age, both growing up in St. Louis and incredibly, both have become stars in the NBA. The first free throw is good. Ball oh, hits them both. Here's Neto. 
outside Beal. Driving to the basket. Pass to Kispert. The three. And the Wizards hit again from deep. But the D didn't do a good enough job on it. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. To the middle. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Rozier. Well, I don't think you can stop Rozier just by getting physical with him. He, he's too single-minded a score to let that stop him. Now here's Beal. Six points for him. Down low, and Harrell slams it down hard. Power Hill shows on these type of slams. He can definitely be intimidating in this game. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Pass the ball. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on Montrez Hero. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. And the Hornets making a change here. Nick Daniels checked in. That's good from Ball. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And taking a look at some stats here for Rogier. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 20 points a game. Four assists and four rebounds. And you look at his score, and he was number one on the team last season. His ability to play through contact, his exceptional concentration, that's what makes him a great finisher. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Stolen by McDaniels. Rozier with the ball. Now Beal defending. Bridges. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, he's an attacking player, and that means Bridges is going to get his share of time at the line. And that'll never make him change his style. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Washington? I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. The Wizards with the lead. Here's Neto. Dishes it to Abdia. Shoots over McDaniel. It's rebounded by Charlotte. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a loss of concentration that time. Now, here's Ball. Defense right on him. Back to Rozier. Six to shoot. Here's Bridges. The kick out to Ball. Bridges trying to free himself up. And Ball gets it to go on the assist from Bridges. Oh, great ball movement from Bridges there. I mean, self-awareness, uh, the selfless attitude leading to the wide open shot. Neto, the pass to Beal. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Beal's got six points in the quarter. Charlotte has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. 
Peel against Rogier. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got the game tied up here for Charlotte. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Harrell a screen on Rogier. The shot by Beal, no good. For Charlotte, they've gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Outside, Ball. McDaniels. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. So it's Washington now. Outside, Beal. Back to Neto. Now, here's Kispert, covered by Martin. Kispert, no good. Hornets leading by three. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Bridges, right side. On the wing, Rogier. He's covered by Beal. Charity stripe shot, and it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Harrell kicks to Beal. Picked by Harrell. Beal the pass to Harrell. Over Rozier. Over to the wing. Now, here's Avdia. He's guarded closely. Here's Kispert. The Wizards with another miss. Charlotte's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Martin kicks the ball. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I like how Ball used the contact to get to the line. I mean, he's a high IQ offensive player. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. You want to see how efficient the offense is running? A great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond. And they've made this thing look easy. That's good from Ball. But if that's what they want to see from him. Attacking, getting whistles, and maybe causing some fouls. From so for the Wizards, Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Kispert. And Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Raul Neto. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Charlotte. Oubre comes in for Terry Rozier. Ball hits them both. Wizards trail by five. Perilous screen on ball. To the paint to stop the crowds. And Harold screams it in. Dunk track here on the kick and roll. He's so good at getting buckets out of those sets. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. He kicks to Oubre. Shot clock at six. And Kelly Oubre, the new face on the Hornets, was hoping to get a bigger deal in free agency. The market, though, just not there for him. Ended up with a two-year deal in a situation where he feels he can show his work. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he makes the first. You know, we all know Uber A. Jr. has the time. I mean, we know he has the wherewithal. His upside will be determined by the consistency of his effort and focus. No good on the second free throw. Wizards trail by four. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Beal, that's for two. No good off the front iron. And stolen by Harrell. Holiday finds Beal. Harrell setting the pit for Beal. Back to Holiday. Now the pass to Harrell. Releases. Nails the baby hook. Harrell's got 23. And they're forcing the ball inside. And it's working like a charm. There's 154 left in the third. 
Passes to Ubre. This one for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got five assists in the game. Holiday against Ball. Harrell was screen on Hayward. Kuzma passes to Beal. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And Ball gets double teamed. Hayward goes in, and Hayward with the stuff. Playing with attitude, Hayward could have laid that one up. Instead, he drops the hammer. One eleven left to play in the third. Martin against Beal. Pass to Kuzma. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. I don't think the D does good enough here, but something causes the miss. They set the screen to the inside. McDaniels, and it's in there. And now a nine-point Hornets lead. Uh, look, that's a nice play. You need low pro scoring to keep your offense balanced. Harrell finds Beal. Back to Harrell. Outside, Beal. Harrell was screen on Martin. A drive by Beal. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Driving inside. Beal is trouble for the defense. I mean, he's able to beat them with pure speed. Hornets leading by seven. Outside, ball. With the teardrop, and the layup is good. Ball's got the lead up to nine now for Charlotte. Big offensive performance from Ball so far. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Hornets lead by nine. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Setting the floor for the Hornets. We've got Oubre. Martin is out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Hayward. And it's McDaniels in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here is Martin. Just five on the clock. Oubre dishes to McDaniels. And there's the whistle. That goes on Denny Avdia. That's his third foul of the game. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Martin against Beal. Here's the floater. Martin with the bucket. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And Beal kicks to Dinwiddie. Over in the corner of Dia. Five on the clock, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Kelly Oubre. Two. 
two shots. Last on the first. He misses the free throw. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the second free throw, good. Fourth quarter just getting started, one minute in the books. Pass to McDaniels. Kicks to Oubre. The pass to Rozier. Misses the three. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Outside, Beal. Nice ball movement by Washington. Now, Dinwiddie, five to shoot. Gafford sets the pick for Avdia. Basket good. Avdia's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Wizards. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Dinwiddie against Rogier. Bridges a screen on Dinwiddie. Oubre outside. Kick by Bridges. Oubre with it. Now Avdia defending. Oubre can't get it to go. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Right side, Beal. Moves back up. Tries it again. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut down to six in the bucket from Gafford. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. A steal. In transition, here come the Wizards. And McDaniels with the block. Passes it to Hayward. And again, the Hornets missing. For Washington, they've gone two for five. On field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Out to the right wing. Beal deciding where to go with it. Over Rozier. Good on the shot, and with that, the Charlotte lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Bradley Beal. Rozier against Dinwiddie. The feed to Oubre. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Avdia. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Rozier against Dinwiddie. Tries again. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. He kicks it to Beal. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Beal. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. When talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, we're not just talking about one of the league's elite shooters. We're talking about one of the league's elite scorers. And if you don't hear Beal mentioned in the same breath as some other NBA superstars, you should. Uh, he's capable of putting up a 50-piece on any given night. This is no specialist. This is an absolute superstar. And that one falls for Beal. You know, he's just the top player in his position. I mean, Beal seems to kick his game up a notch every year in this league. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Washington. Mason Plumley's checked in for the Hornets. And both free throws good for Beal. Here's Rogier. And the Hornets call time here. The short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push.
And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear James Borrego coaching his team during the break. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thanks, David. Oubre outside. Back to Rozier. Plumley, the pass to Rozier. To end the cold streak, Oubre good. A great touch from the mid range. Oubre is more than content to rise up and knock it down. Inside. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Yeah, the step back. Hayward grabs the board. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They've led by as many as 11 points. Back to Bridges. Rozier against Beal. Bridges, no one around him. No good with the triple. He hasn't had anywhere near the same touch he had in the first half. Zero three-pointers in this half compared to three in the first. Now here's Dinwiddie. Beal from deep three-point land. The Wizards with another miss. Hayward kicks to Rozier. He can't get that one. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Pass to Beal. There's the three. Marries the long-range jumper. Beal's got 15 points here in the second half. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, no, no, that's how you mount a comeback. They're not all the way back, but they're getting close. Bridges' shot, good. Uh, the defender is right in his face, but Bridges gets it done. Good aggressive inside play. And the Wizards with possession. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Kuzma with a screen on Rogier. Oubre against Beal. He sinks the 11 footer. Beal's got 20. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Now, here's Rogier. Pass to Hayward. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. LaMelo ball. He's checked in for the Hornets. For Washington, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field, entering the fourth quarter. The pass to Gafford. Now the dish to Beal to take the lead. And it's sent back by Plumlee. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. On defense, the Hornets. It's a one-point game. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. Dinwiddie outside. For the screen on Oubre. Pocket six. Stolen by Ball. Yeah, they've gotten careless, Kevin. No doubt about it with their turnovers in the second half. Just the look he wants and still no look. Tough night for him. Caldwell Pope kicks to Beal. Kuzma outside. And another miss by Washington. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Oubre against Beal. Outside, ball. And ball gets double teamed. Plumwood is just to Bridges. Bangs home the trifecta. Bridges has got 24. And all quarter long, he's been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Bridges with the steal. 
Down low. Knocked away. Wizards trailed by four. Caldwell Pope for three. A second chance effort, and it's Gafford laying it in. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. Here is Plumley after the basket by Washington. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Just four to shoot. For the three. Ball, no good. Definitely a situation you want to make sure we don't give him too good of a look. Kuzma finds Dinwiddie. The Wizards working the ball around now. Passes it to Beal to take the lead. And the foul on Daniel Gafford. That is his first foul of the game. Charlotte making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. Charlotte in the lead. Bridges sets the screen for Rozier. Kicks it to Bridges. Rozier against Beal. Plumley with a screen on Dinwiddie. And the rejection by Gafford. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. Just five to shoot. Off the inbound. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. Such a competitor. I love how hard Bridges goes. I mean, it's what gets the D to act like this. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for Washington. Tipped away. Kuzma kicks to Dinwiddie. Pass to Gafford. And a deep three from Beal. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. Hayward's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. To the paint. Bridges outside. Good on the triple. Bridges has got 29. You know, spacing the floor is so important in today's NBA. So Bridges, three-point ability, <laughs> it fits right now. And Beal gets it to go. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is why they go to the spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Here's Bridges. After the made shot from Bradley Beal. Bridges attacking to the middle. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Wizards trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Beal. And it's sent back by Plumley. Hayward looking around. Gafford again throws you. Back to Hayward. Just five on the clock. Bridges sets the screen for Hayward. And there's Bridges on the assist by Hayward. Hayward's got three assists tonight. So intelligent in these sets. Hayward great at making the right decision off the screen. Now here's Beal. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Rogier. He kicks it to Bridges. 
107 left to play in the final quarter. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to hold in that one. Here's Beal. Beal with another miss. The Hornets shooting only 35% in the fourth quarter. The offense looking a little rickety. Bridges against Kuzma. Bridges passes to Plumlee. Yeah, this is a do or die possession. They have got to get points. Oh, yeah. A little room for error now. We'll see what they run. Now, here's ball. Rozier with the ball. Bridges outside. Ball from long range. Trills it from outside. Ball's got 33. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this one. On the wing, Rogier. And so it's Charlotte with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin, here with Mason Plumley. A lot of points tonight. What was working so well offensively? Well, we're sharing the ball so well. It's fun to watch, I'm sure. But we have possessions where every guy might touch the ball almost twice. So when you get movement like that, it's hard to guard, and it's a fun way to play. You did have the defense on its toes tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball.